Silence is not a sign of weakness, rather it is a sign of power and strength. You may have heard of the popular quote, actions speak louder than words, and it is true. Silence is not for the weak, but for the wise. Those who understand that power lies not in noise, but in control. In this video, I will share with you the powerful benefits of embracing silence, which will give you a new perspective on it. In our daily lives, we've all experienced moments when we've missed crucial details, whether in a meeting where we've overlooked vital information or during a conversation where we didn't truly listen. These missed details can lead to misunderstandings, errors, and missed opportunities. The solution lies in the power of silence. Embrace it and witness its ability to observe and focus like never before. Consider silence as your magnifying glass for life, enhancing your ability to pay attention, even to the subtlest nuances and details. Don't let vital information slip away. Instead, practice the art of silence and emerge as a master of unwavering observation and focus, making the world clearer and sharper than you ever imagined. Silence is your key to achieving complete emotional control. It's not just a magic trick, it's an empowering tool. Imagine being in a heated argument, and silence becomes your shield. When you pause, you give yourself that crucial moment to think before reacting, gaining control over your emotional responses. Instead of reacting impulsively, you respond thoughtfully. Silence is like the pause button in a tense movie scene, but it goes beyond that. It allows you to reflect on your feelings, identify why you feel a certain way, and decide if your emotions are justified. This self-awareness is a crucial step in achieving emotional control. Well, silence is your way of counting. It's like a mental countdown that lets you regain your composure and avoid impulsive decisions. We've all experienced regret over something said in the heat of the moment, but silence acts as your safety net, helping you avoid such regrets by providing the space and time needed to choose your words wisely. Think of it as a filter that ensures only the best thoughts and words pass through. It's like reins for wild horses, allowing you to guide your emotions where you want them to go. So, embrace silence not as a weakness but as your superpower for achieving brutal emotional control. It's your secret weapon, ensuring that you're the captain of your emotional ship, sailing steadily even in the stormiest seas. Silence becomes your guardian, protecting your precious energy like a fortress keeping invaders at bay. Imagine your energy as a treasure chest, with every word and action being like coins from that chest. When you're not in silence, it's as if you're giving away your riches without a second thought. Think of it this way, if you had a limited battery on your phone, you wouldn't use it for non-essential tasks, right? Silence operates similarly, activating energy-saving mode. The Stoic philosophers, those ancient masters of wisdom, recognized the importance of conserving energy. They likened it to a river always flowing. Seneca once said, life is long if you know how to use it, meaning you need to use your energy wisely as a finite resource. In our hectic lives, it's easy to get caught up in a whirlwind of activities, rushing from one fire to another, trying to put them all out. The result is often a feeling of exhaustion at the end of the day with nothing left in the tank. Silence is your energy reserve mode, like turning off lights in a room before leaving to save electricity. It's your way of hitting the pause button so you can conserve your precious energy for what truly matters. Think of silence as your energy recharge station, where you regain your strength, preparing for the significant challenges that lie ahead. It's your secret to preserving your vitality, ensuring that you're never running on empty. So, don't waste your energy on unimportant tasks. Embrace silence as your life-saving mode and see how it helps you maintain your vital energy for the truly meaningful challenges life presents. Silence acts as your mentor in decision-making, sharpening your ability to choose wisely, much like a craftsman hones a blade to perfection. 
Imagine your decisions as pieces of a puzzle, with each choice fitting into the larger picture of your life. When you're not in silence, it's like trying to solve a puzzle with missing pieces. Think of it as navigating a ship in turbulent waters without a map. You'd likely get lost or hit rocks. Silence is like having that map, ensuring you navigate life's treacherous waters accurately. The Stoic philosophers, those ancient sages, were masters of decision-making. In our chaotic lives, we often find ourselves in situations requiring urgent decisions, like being in a maze with multiple paths, and you must choose the right one. When you rush decisions without embracing silence, it's like blindly picking a path and hoping it leads you where you want to go. Silence is your decision enhancement tool, like being equipped with a torch in that maze, illuminating each path so you can make an informed choice. It allows you to pause, think, and assess your options carefully before acting. Consider silence in your decision-making laboratory, where you analyze your choices, ensuring they align with your long-term goals and personal values. It's your secret to making decisions that bring you closer to the life you envision. So, don't rush your choices, don't gamble your future. Embrace silence as your decision-making compass, and see how it enhances your ability to make wise decisions, one thoughtful choice at a time. It's your path to becoming the captain of your ship, confidently navigating life's oceans with purpose. Silence becomes your scepter of authority, your symbol of power, much like a king's scepter signifies his rule. Imagine life as a kingdom, and you are the ruler of your realm, with silence as your royal emblem, a badge of honor representing your authority. Think of it as being the leader of a team, when you speak, people listen, not out of fear but out of respect. Silence can be compared to the presence of a royal figure, as it commands the attention and respect of those around you. Silence can act as a shield, protecting you from falling into traps. It's like playing a game of chess, where you plan your moves carefully to avoid potential threats. In real life, silence is like a strategic pause, allowing you to think before you act and reducing the chances of getting involved in unnecessary conflicts. Historical philosophers, those wise elders of the past, understood the importance of maintaining inner tranquility. It's like the saying, choose your battles wisely. Epictetus advised that it's not external events but our interpretations of them that cause problems. In our daily lives, conflicts can arise anywhere, much like navigating a minefield where every word or action could lead to a dispute. When you're not in silence, you might inadvertently step on a mine, triggering unnecessary conflicts. Silence becomes your conflict avoidance strategy, similar to conducting diplomatic negotiations before rushing into battle. It ensures that you approach disputes with a clear mind and a desire for resolution rather than escalation. Think of it as your tool for preserving peace. During moments of silence, you can listen, understand, and find common ground. Silence is like the bridge between opposing sides, ensuring that conflicts are resolved through conversation rather than confrontation. So, silence isn't a sign of passivity, it's your weapon of choice for maintaining peace and harmony. Embrace it as your shield against unnecessary conflicts and watch how it leads to more peaceful and constructive interactions in your life. It's your path to becoming a diplomat of tranquility, averting conflicts while promoting understanding and unity. Alright, let's look at it differently. Silence is your tool for earning respect, your way of proving that you're someone worth listening to. Historical philosophers, those venerable sages of ancient times, understood the importance of respect. In our daily interactions, respect is like the currency of trust and admiration. It's what you gain when you consistently practice what you preach. When you're not in silence, your words may lose their impact, and your actions can get lost in the noise. Silence becomes your respect amplification tool, like a spotlight on your actions and words, making them shine brightly. 
When you speak, it's not just noise. It's a statement that demands attention and respect. Consider silence your path to gaining more respect. It's where you show instead of telling who you are. Your self-assured restraint, wisdom, and maturity become evident to those around you, and respect naturally follows. So, silence isn't about fading into the background, it's about standing up and earning the respect you deserve. Embrace it as your tool for gaining respect and see how it transforms your actions into a powerful testament to your character. It's your path to becoming someone who commands admiration, not through loud proclamations, but through a quiet and powerful presence. We've explored deep insights of wisdom, and now it's time to take responsibility and act. Take a moment to reflect and commit. Write your promise in the comments section and declare to yourself, I am a warrior in my own life. I am determined to become silent and make myself valuable and successful. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more daily doses of unfiltered and uncensored wisdom. Life has a peculiar way of throwing obstacles, and sometimes it feels like we're juggling a million tasks at once as if the weight of the world is on our shoulders. However, it's essential to remember that the power to overcome these challenges lies in the present moment. Marcus Aurelius emphasized that the power is in our ability to control our minds and reactions, regardless of external events. Focusing on the present allows us to make choices aligned with our values, finding peace amidst the chaos. So, the next time you feel overwhelmed, take a deep breath and anchor yourself in the present. Embracing the present moment isn't just about surviving tough days, but thriving in them, building resilience, wisdom, and strength with each passing moment. Amidst the daily rush and turmoil, it's easy to focus on what we lack, missed opportunities, and seemingly insurmountable challenges. However, practicing gratitude can shift our perspective, even on the darkest days. Consider gratitude as a way to change your outlook. Even during the gloomiest days, taking a moment to acknowledge the good things in your life not only brings contentment but also builds a foundation of resilience against life's storms. Seneca elegantly emphasized that true happiness lies in enjoying the present without anxiously depending on the future. Valuing what we already have, whether it's the smiles of friends, the comfort of home, or the simple pleasures like a cup of tea, is crucial. Cultivating gratitude isn't just about recognizing the good moments but also finding grace in the struggles. Each challenge we face is an opportunity for growth and learning. So, when things get tough, take a moment to find something to be grateful for. This practice won't change the situation, but it will change how you approach it, often making all the difference. This quiet strength amidst the chaos encourages us to hold on a little longer. Epictetus expressed the idea that it's not what happens but how we react that truly matters. It reminds us that we waste a lot of energy worrying about things beyond our control, things we can't change, no matter how much effort we put into them. In life, it's important to focus on what we can control our reactions, emotions, and decisions. These are the candles that can light up our way in the darkness. It's essential to cultivate this inner strength, not only to survive life's storms but also to sail toward new horizons. When life's challenges come our way, it's crucial to remember that we have the power of choice. We can't stop the rain or silence the thunder, but we can decide how we respond to them. Understanding what's within our control is liberating and the first step towards not only enduring the storms of life but also thriving in the midst of them. As the dawn breaks, we realize that the storm wasn't the story, it was how we chose to face it that made all the difference. Seneca declared that difficulties can strengthen the mind just as labor strengthens the body. Despite being centuries old, these words hold timeless truth. Challenges, obstacles, and hardships are not mere impediments on our path. They are opportunities to grow, learn, and discover strengths we never knew we possessed. 
Each challenge we face is a disguised lesson waiting to be unveiled. Embracing adversity doesn't mean seeking out difficulties or reveling in pain. It means recognizing the intrinsic value of our struggles. Shifting our perspective and seeing challenges as stepping stones to wisdom and growth is crucial. So, when we find ourselves amidst life's fiery trials, we should remember the blacksmith and his blade. With the right mindset, adversity can be the force that shapes us into a masterpiece. Wisdom is not a gift reserved for a select few, it's a treasure often waiting to be discovered by those with the courage and determination to seek it. The fact that you've come this far, exploring these lessons, is a testament to your sincere desire to acquire wisdom. Your dedication is commendable and a clear sign that you're on the right path. Cultivating gratitude isn't just about recognizing the good moments but also finding grace in the struggles. Each challenge we face is an opportunity for growth and learning. So, when things get tough, take a moment to find something to be grateful for. This practice won't change the situation, but it will change how you approach it, often making all the difference. This quiet strength amidst the chaos encourages us to hold on a little longer. Epictetus expressed the idea that it's not what happens but how we react that truly matters. It reminds us that we waste a lot of energy worrying about things beyond our control, things we can't change, no matter how much effort we put into them. In life, it's important to focus on what we can control our reactions, emotions, and decisions. These are the candles that can light up our way in the darkness. It's essential to cultivate this inner strength, not only to survive life's storms but also to sail toward new horizons. When life's challenges come our way, it's crucial to remember that we have the power of choice. We can't stop the rain or silence the thunder, but we can decide how we respond to them. Understanding what's within our control is liberating and the first step towards not only enduring the storms of life but also thriving in the midst of them. As the dawn breaks, we realize that the storm wasn't the story, it was how we chose to face it that made all the difference. Seneca declared that difficulties can strengthen the mind just as labor strengthens the body. Despite being centuries old, these words hold timeless truth. Challenges, obstacles, and hardships are not mere impediments on our path. They are opportunities to grow, learn, and discover strengths we never knew we possessed. Each challenge we face is a disguised lesson waiting to be unveiled. Embracing adversity doesn't mean seeking out difficulties or reveling in pain. It means recognizing the intrinsic value of our struggles. Shifting our perspective and seeing challenges as stepping stones to wisdom and growth is crucial. So, when we find ourselves amidst life's fiery trials, we should remember the blacksmith and his blade. With the right mindset, adversity can be the force that shapes us into a masterpiece. Wisdom is not a gift reserved for a select few, it's a treasure often waiting to be discovered by those with the courage and determination to seek it. The fact that you've come this far, exploring these lessons, is a testament to your sincere desire to acquire wisdom. Your dedication is commendable and a clear sign that you're on the right path. This type of person is the one who never acknowledges their mistakes. These individuals have a hard time admitting when they are wrong, which demonstrates a lack of self-awareness and humility, two qualities valued in personal growth as advocated by Stoic thinkers. They tend to avoid responsibility instead of owning up to their errors. For example, if something goes wrong due to their choices, instead of admitting the mistake, they blame external circumstances or other people. They often claim they've never done anything wrong. Helping these people is a challenge because they resist acknowledging their errors. They find excuses for everything. If an exam is failed, it's the teacher's fault. A car accident is due to the weather. A messy house is the responsibility of work. These people believe their decisions don't affect others, 
or worse, they simply don't care about the consequences. It's difficult to assist them because they refuse to admit their mistakes. If something goes wrong due to their actions, they keep searching for scapegoats. Can you help someone who refuses to acknowledge their mistakes? In most cases, trying to show these people a better way is a futile effort. They often limit themselves to complaining and may try to drag others into their negativity. The best option is to distance yourself. This attitude hinders their growth and can negatively affect your journey of personal growth if you continue trying to help them. A new type of person is the one who doesn't plan for the future. Imagine the distress of witnessing someone you care about wasting their talents. You can't do anything about it, and it's challenging when you try to remind them that life is passing by, but they show no concern. You believe they have much more potential than they realize. Certainly, living in the present is essential for happiness, but it doesn't mean we shouldn't set goals for the future. What we do today shapes our tomorrow. We should use our natural and acquired skills to improve our lives. Some people only see what's right in front of them. It's not that they lack skills, they simply don't think about how to use those skills in the future. They are talented in many areas, but instead of taking action, they rely on others. They are aware of their potential and what they can achieve but settle for the idea that someone will always be there to help them. It's complicated to encourage them to grow this way, they remain stagnant, and their lack of planning prevents them from moving forward. The ancient philosophers emphasized the importance of working to build a better life. Since negative feelings like anxiety can take over people who don't seek personal growth, encouraging these individuals to take responsibility for their futures is a more effective approach than trying to teach them new skills. This represents a disservice to those seeking to achieve true happiness and success by following the wisdom of ancient philosophers. Some people always seem to see the glass as half empty which goes against the approach of ancient thinkers who valued serenity and faced challenges with courage and gratitude. It's important to recognize both the joys and adversities of life to maintain a healthy mental balance. While it's natural to face difficult days and experience feelings like anger or sadness, it's another thing to exclusively focus on the negatives and ignore the good things. Some individuals appear to be experts at concentrating on the downsides. When they share their problems, it's natural to want to help them, but they seem to have a new problem for every solution you offer. Their constant negativity can start to affect your state of mind. It's similar to watching the news on TV where most stories are about negative events. After proposing numerous solutions, you may begin to suspect that they might not want help but simply enjoy complaining and seeking attention. They might even feel comfortable if all their problems suddenly disappear because they appreciate having a mixed bag of issues to discuss. Some people always center their conversations around their problems, as if these issues define their entire lives. They often mention lack of money, issues with children, relationship conflicts, or job dissatisfaction. Do you believe you can truly make a difference for someone who incessantly complains about every aspect of their life? And if they genuinely want help, maybe it's wiser not to try. If you want to maintain a positive attitude and preserve your energy, it might be best to allow them to find their way. Hopefully, over time, they'll learn to be less negative. Instead, Focus your energy on people who genuinely value your advice and want to improve. Otherwise, you risk becoming as negative as the person you tried to help before realizing it. Another type of person is the one who never takes responsibility for their mistakes. They always point fingers at others and avoid self-examination. This contradicts the idea that we should focus on how we react to situations rather than blaming the situations themselves. If we don't take control of our reactions, our feelings can overwhelm us, leaving us confused. 
How can you help someone who believes that all problems are someone else's fault and can't recognize their own mistakes? If these people can't see where they might be wrong, they'll never strive to improve because they believe they're already perfect. Some individuals always seek someone to blame either because they don't acknowledge their errors or because they choose not to. For them, if they don't have friends, it's others' fault. If they have health problems, it's due to a lack of resources for a healthy diet. If they miss job opportunities, it's because the interviewer was against them. The most effective help you can offer these people is to allow life to teach them through their experiences. Over time, they may begin to realize the true causes of their problems. Another type of person is the one who expects the world to be in their favor. Some people believe the world should cater to their every desire, considering themselves special just for being alive. In contrast, Stoic teachings guide us to live in harmony with the world and others, emphasizing that respect and rewards must be earned. Some well-intentioned people want to help these individuals see reality differently, but often, these individuals don't receive such advice with gratitude and may even feel threatened. Some of them think that because they are attractive, people should serve them. This mindset makes it difficult for those trying to help because they are frequently exploited. Some people feel they deserve extra attention when things don't go their way, even if they've already received help. They act as if they're hurt and may try to manipulate the situation. They may only understand the need for change when they face the consequences of their behavior. Some people simply don't want to learn or change. Stoicism teaches us to know ourselves better and constantly seek improvement. However, some people don't want to recognize their weaknesses or grow. They remain unchanged and often blame others for their problems. Helping them can be a tough task because they are unwilling to listen or accept advice. Stoicism reminds us of the importance of being in harmony with nature, building strong relationships, and taking responsibility for our actions. By embracing these principles, we can aspire to a meaningful life in tune with the universe, just as the Stoics did. If you want to learn how to do this, check out the video on the screen. Until next time.